There's work that I've done, there's work that I haven't gotten to yet. The work that I haven't gotten to yet, that'd be me really saying a lot. I might just wait to get to that and then I'll let you know. But for now, uh, my carnival series is really just proof that we exist, proof of, uh, of the depth and important of importance of the festival uh, the people involved the features just everything us because that, that's a major part of art I'm um, creating artifacts that's what that's about really who are my biggest influences artistically I don't really have any I kind of do draw energy from my peers as I see them create it makes me antsy it makes me want to create that kind of drives me I know it kind of drives them because we speak that's a major thing, but life-wise, it's always been my older brother because he, he seemed to always have it figured out, even though he admit that he doesn't, but that's my role model, it seems like. That's Mr. Perfect, so that's a major influence. And my mother, because she's a sweetheart. <laughs> just being patient, it kind of just is happening as it goes along because I don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> I'll be honest. So I'm really trying to figure it out as I go along. I look around, I listen, I stay quiet, I pull a lot of lessons to see how others may have done it, see what I could take from that, apply it to myself. Uh, but that's pretty much it. I just stay working. And if it's for me, it'll happen. Just paying attention, seeing certain trends, but then still just listening to myself. What am I comfortable with? What do I feel like doing right now? It's, it's, it's a moody business, so I can't help that. So I get through it how I get through it. And thus far, it's sort of been working. People at least know my name now, so here's that. As it stands, seeking out opportunities, you just gotta go door to door, basically. See if anything does pop up. As you stay working, your name might stay on people's minds, so if something does pop up that you don't see, they might refer you. Big ups to all the references, I love y'all. Um, but yeah, you just gotta go in, see if people are interested. To keep working, keep posting. You never know what people might like, never know what people might want. Stay available. Be flexible. That's that's pretty much it. I priced my work. I got this lesson. How long ago? What is it? Was it about three years ago? We were doing a show, the Revolution of Art. Uh, we were all trying to figure out how to price my work. I used to price it off feel. Everybody in the room had no really no basic idea how to do it. Uh, Anson Henry, he was the, he prices per square inch. So he said, "Yo, I should probably try that." So I applied it. Started off at a dollar. Name got a little bit more buzz. Bigger projects moved up to two. It inched up a little bit more about now, but that's pretty much it. I price per square inch, but then I also turn around and ask my client, depending on who that client is. How much you working with and we see what we can do people will be people that's that's an everyday lesson it's weird how that reoccurs but people will be people take it how you want it <laughs>
of work that I haven't gotten to. Work. Huh? Answer it how you want to answer it. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna answer. That's what I'm doing. You just cut me off, man. Sorry, sorry. Oh, man.